visions of lives that could have been led. Eventualities that could have came to pass. And thankfully, thanks to Subaru's many attempts and the many timelines that we've kind of jumped through, we know that nothing is set in stone, so whatever is going to be shown in the final future trial, that's up for debate. Subaru sees the three sisters of fate and spits in their general direction. But there's still madness happening at the mansion, and things are due to go downhill. Let's find out how. For being a trained assassin and fighter, Garfield's holding his own quite well. Ow. So it's been a while since she's had a challenge. What, those that want to slice you open? Yeah, I do have a slight distaste for them. So, focus on the fight at hand, is that what she's saying? He'll just, yeah, put his trust in everyone else. <laughs> Super is doing fine. I would like to see him to use his shadow magic a bit more. Like, have we only really been shown off the uh, Shamuk? Even in all of this, she is still <laughs> worrying about Subaru's safety first. Petra's a good child. How does the modern world help you in this situation? It's not like you have an M14. Or is he going to do some movie reference? <laughs> that that little uh, candelabra is going to cause an explosion right a flower f explosion didn't go quite as planned the ratio was off cover in oil And it's kind of flaming mummies. Run. That burning oil is not a great way to go out. And Subaru doing is what Subaru does best being bait. The mansion might need to be re rebuilt after this. That spread fast. As long as you're all safe, then... The mansion itself doesn't really matter. You just need to get Beatrice out. Good boy, Otto. He still has 
something he needs to do. <laughs> she can be a bit standoffish at, at times, but... And Otto will live with that guilt forever. Remember, if you die, I'll kill you. If we get a flash through of like all the different timelines that Subaru failed kind of thing, but with Amelia. A void? A shiny void? That's a lot of blood. I'm trying to work out where that is meant to be. A disaster is yet to come, but may not come to pass. <laughs> there is... I'm trying to work out who the voices are, but... There is... Basically everyone that she knew, and I can't... Some that I can't place. Let's get to what are all. So along with the voices, I'm guessing she's also getting a barrage of mental imagery to go along. For it to come to a, an abrupt stop. A future to come. Yeah, and this is where it... Well, I was going to say, fades out of her grasp, but... Didn't expect her to go to the tea party. Is this the first time that, uh... There hasn't been anyone waiting for them? But it looks so tasty. From what we've seen her actually be able to do, yeah, having a, her finger to the back of your head would be kind of... kind of a scary position to be in. Can you blame her? That would be a difficult, yeah, a difficult one to explain, really. <laughs> so even though the books that Beatrice and Roswell have, which tells the future, the third trial is showing that the possibility of outcomes changes.
Yeah, she is quite resilient. And incredibly optimistic. I think if she hadn't have fought that way, she wouldn't have made it this far without breaking down. Do you know her mother? More contracts. The mystery slightly deepens. And the complete absence of all backing music in this scene. The one she grew up with, the one who cared for her. Remember, no turning around. <laughs> Apart from being uh, one of the first to leap into the fray, this witch does seem the most open to straightforward talking. One more step upon the breach. This is going to be uh, Even if you do all hate each other, let's still have a tea party. <laughs> she would as well. And just like that, Sanctuary is solved? That one didn't seem too badly, or too bad. And what is past the door? The key to the barrier itself. There's a lot of glowy, glowing blue. Oh. Just like, uh, does she not recognize her? Quite an intricate spell. It's weaving itself throughout the building. Careful with glass shards though, that could still cause some damage. So was the image of Echidna that we were seeing in the trials and in the tea party not her true form hmm. well okay then episode over really you're not going to spend any moment of time okay This is bad. Garfield out here trying to imitate uh, Saitama. <laughs> she may have healing, but is there a limit to her recovery? Remove enough part.
Yes, and not at all because the plan got derailed slightly. Yeah, they're on the ground floor. To fight side by side. I mean, it was never told, but I'm not surprised. By themselves, this is, seems to be a bit one-sided. Well, it describes Garfield. Ah, now who's the one taking a break and caring for others while they're in a fight? <laughs> hmm. Older sibling v younger sibling. Okay, you've held these... Those cuts back and forth between the faces. <laughs> hey, no interfering! This is so much better than some other fight scenes. Oh, he can... Ooh! He can do... Part transformation. Now, what's he going to do against the pig? Oh! Oh! Okay! I'm not sure how he got the, the traction for it while he was in the air, but okay! <laughs> that was cool! She needed some time to recover after having half of her body removed. All he has to do is, uh... keep slashing away. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good way of thinking. <laughs> if one is dead, it means I can't kill you. Hmm. His way of thinking may be simplistic. Okay. Are we... Are we meant to be f feeling sorry for her or some empathy for her upbringing? So she started killing early. And that was the origin of her fascination. She needs a little bit of psychiatric help. Then again, there's some other issues in this world that need to be fixed first. Good. 
good. <laughs> The thing is, we've seen her fight many times. I don't think Garfield's going down too easily, but I can't immediately think of a way to put her down for good. Unless the good old stake through the heart works in this world. Don't just... Oh, good save. And don't just stand there screaming. Get out of the way of the collapsing roof. <laughs> Bite back, yep. She can't do much at the minute, so why not? Oh, he put it through his hand. What was hoped to be achieved is not healing. Oh, it's the corpse of the rock pig. She's going to get flattened. For one last glimpse of her life. Well, ooh, that sound. At least she went out like she enjoyed. I'd. Kind of thought that this fight would have been completed off screen, considering how long ago it was started. The thing is. Ram, uh, Ram has something that she is actually, is actually fighting for, just achieving the goal of stopping him here. So he took advantage. Yeah, okay, Puck's not going to be all too happy with Roswell. <laughs> I do like it when Puck gets pissed. Is he referencing melancholy guy from before uh, Roswell took on its persona? There's always... There's always hope for anyone to redeem themselves. I don't think that anyone is truly beyond uh, being absolved of things, but it's, some of them are inc incredibly difficult.
Oh, that's why he sounded like he was inside. Muffled. Is he talking about the only village? But she is layered. Just <laughs> that was not a face that you want to see someone pull when you make a when you say that. So do you think that throughout of all these years, nothing has changed? His ideals and feelings may have stagnated. But you can't help the past. Now distract him. <laughs> okay, it's uh, might be given a hall of mirrors type effect, but the reflective s surface of ice isn't perfect. That's not his true form. He's a big. <laughs> Impressive. An illusion. And was that a distraction enough for Ram to achieve whatever her plan was? Her horn? Was... There was no damage upon him? Well, of course, she just doesn't want to hurt him too much. <laughs> Take what he holds dear. He's put his entire life into that book and it's basically like a, a photo album of everything. One way to push him out of his delusion. <laughs> Don't think he's... Yeah. Don't think you would be all too happy about that, though. I hope Ram didn't save Roswell at the sacrifice of herself. <laughs> as much as she's been standoffish through this entire... entire show. I still like her. We need a character to be completely straight-laced and put Subaru in his place. Uh, 
and for the regenerating vampire assassin to finally taste fear and pain must have been quite exciting she was only doing her job Amelia overcoming the third trial breaking the barrier releasing everyone from sanctuary letting the story progress I don't know where we're going to go from here on though the rest of the outside outside world has seemingly stood still. We haven't really been shown anything about it other than the mansion. And Amelia doesn't know who Rem is at the minute, and yet still saw her in that possible future. That brings with it a light of hope. And Garfield being shown off as the hero that we all knew he really was. Unfortunately... We didn't get any cool one-liners from him. He must have overcame his tuny personality so quickly. But this episode ha hit all the marks, didn't it? The slow, solemn moments, the talks in the... witch illusion world. The heart-pumping action of the fight in the mansion. Now that Elsa's down for the count, the... Miley, Miley... Girl being taken away by Frederica. If the mansion wasn't on fire, Subaru could take his time. Not a luxury. One person left. If you want to watch along with me and find out what happens, you may want to subscribe so you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like and a comment. I didn't really expect ReZero to go into so much psychology and how everyone starts thinking. But we all knew that upbringing and environment really affects you, so get yourself some rest. I hope you can make your wishes a reality. I'll see you in the next one. Whether it be the past, present, or future, my patrons are keeping this timeline looking good. So, to Sal, Raywin, Electrican, Arfia, Denim at 1997, Shiwan, Jennifer Rojas, Mecca, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Dark Shadow, 7899, Mats, and everyone else. I hope you don't receive terrible visions of futures to come, although we all know my channel is going to be awful.